Yo, what's the crack lads? And in today's video, I'm gonna take you through two weeks of me studying for my mock exam. So if you guys go on to enjoy the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and enjoy the video. I'm finally home now and I just managed to finish my uh, maths exam. So tomorrow I have English and DCG. But I am like I'm malfunctioning right now from the paper. Three hours to do eight questions. Obviously the mocks are supposed to be harder than the actual thing. It's done now, it's in the past now. So I need to crack on with the studying for tomorrow's exam. So English paper two, so cultural context, Othello, we know the poetry, I'll get all that done. Then the DCG, I failed to know my November assessments, but Whatever happens, happens. Hey guys, I uh, got me food here, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly just grab something to eat because I am starving right now. Watch a little bit of YouTube. I'm gonna get a bit of English done. So these are all my poems. I've got 15 poems, which Actually, no, 20 poems actually. I need to remember by tomorrow. Well, not that I need to remember, but a bit of knowledge on that. Then I have a bit of DCG that I'm gonna do. So it's gonna do like one or two questions on that and I should be fine. Five, no, ten past three right now. So, all I'm gonna do is uh, finish off this DCG question and try one more after that, and then I think I'll just beat my DCG sources for tomorrow. Let's go over my English as well, which is just my poetry and you know, cultural context like Othello and I three other texts. I'll need to go over those, but they're not gonna be too hard to go over because I already know a good bit about them. Do another few hours of this and we'll be grand. Let's get back to it. Please help. So guys, um, yeah, I got all my studying done, but uh, yeah, I'm just way too tired right now. Like, obviously, like, it's like half nine right now or a bit later. But uh, yeah, English paper two tomorrow and DCG tomorrow. So I think it should be handy enough, but I know I failed the DCG November assessments, but I'm a lot more prepared than I was the last time. So with the rhythms on that, shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So I'll get back to you guys when I finish the exams tomorrow. So lads, 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 lads. We did it. Aaron's day English and DCG is uh, finally finished. Now, I have to study for geography. And then I have Thursday off, and then Friday I have Spanish. Well, that's the hardest day done, so. I'm gonna shower, I literally just got in the house. I'm gonna go off shower and then just get this geography finished with, and then maybe at eight o'clock or a bit earlier, I'll get off for the night, because I am wrecked. I, uh, I've got my geography studying done and I've written out a good few pieces to be honest but when I mean pieces I mean literally just repeated a bunch of essays to myself to give you guys a little show of what's on it so we have geography here this is our history we're not actually having an art exam because the actual art exam is the leaving cert that we're just sat there for three hours just working on our final drawings for our booklet. We have Spanish on Friday, which is grand. Have the air roll as well, so the bloody listening thing. I'm glad for that because I'm going to be in a special center for that. This paper one and then math paper two. Obviously, we're off on that Monday because that day is Valentine's Day, but then after that, we're chilling.
All right, guys. Um, so it is actually Thursday right now. It is not Wednesday because I did forget to record yesterday. But yesterday I did do my geography exam, which I think went pretty well. So, uh, I don't have an exam today. I have Spanish tomorrow, so I'm currently just working on that listening because I think the listening is really gonna do me in and probably the opinion piece. Sort out the Spanish, go through the listen, get the opinion text on because those are my two biggest weaknesses. And, uh, yeah, I'm just glad that now I finally have my hardest days done now. So all I have now, Spanish, get it done tomorrow. And then I have maths on Tuesday and English on Wednesday and then that is it for me. I'm finished on my exams. Obviously I do not have to do Irish because your boy is dyslexic. I don't know if that's something I should be happy about but at least I don't get to do Irish exams. It's almost halfway through this. Well for me it's I'm over halfway through with it. But uh yeah I'm just very pumped to actually be almost finished the exams already. So I literally just cannot wait just to get these exams over with and then obviously study over the weekend for this math and english but it shouldn't be too hard but uh yeah get back to this shit hall and uh we'll be good all right guys so uh we have finished spanish you may tell from yeah it is very late because i you just remember to do a quick recording but yeah spanish is done now i have math and english on Tuesday and Wednesday and then after that I am done. The day I finish my leaving tour, I'm going to Spain. So happy days for that. And I'm just going to get this man's and English done, literally get them done and then I'll be fine. And it'll just be happy days. All right guys, uh, I know I didn't record the maths studying time lapse, but no need to worry because we got it done today just need to focus on english now and then after that happy days but i will be staying back till the end of the school day just to get an art project done which i'm actually almost finished with I'm finishing two days early because everyone else is getting irish done i'm almost done with these exams and then again to make more videos for you guys guys i'll see you tomorrow when my english exam is done guys the exams are now over i got English paper one done and yeah I don't think it was the best exam that I did just because of some of the questions but all the exams are done now. The stress is all gone now. Literally I'm just so happy that they're finally over with. Now I have the midterm so I can just chill out finally after two months of hardcore studying and it's finally finished now.